lecture we're going to continue with the HTML section and we're going to learn about HTML attributes so let's begin HTML attributes all HTML elements can have attributes attributes provide additional information about an element so an attribute you should just know it just provides additional information about a certain element of HTML Attributes are always specified in a start tag. So you should always remember this. That to make an attribute of a certain element of HTML, you must put it in the first tag. Attributes usually come in the name and the value. For example, we, we, we shall always have the name of an attribute and its value. Now, let us go to the sublime text and practice what we've discussed about attributes. So I'll switch to the sublime text. I believe everyone can open sublime text at this level. If you cannot, then please go to our previous video lectures and you'll understand how you use sublime text. So I'll begin by saving. Just press Ctrl S. And I'll save this as sub I mean six HTML attributes. Then don't forget to put the extension.html. Then I'll click on save. And then to write the HTML structure, you just write the word HTML. Then press the tab key and press enter. Sublime text will write for you the structure of HTML. So as my title right may be attributes. And this title will appear on the window of a browser. Then in the body itself shall put our content. So let us first do something that uh, explains attribute. For example, I'll say, I'll make a heading to, heading to, AO head 3, and press tab key. So that's how we write, uh, oh, that's how the sublime text help us to write faster code. You don't have to, op you don't need to open the tag and close the tag and then write the name. No, 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 no. That's tiresome. What you do, you just write the name of the tag, for example, H3, and press the tab key. Then the sublime text will open it for you and close it for you and through that way we shall learn faster i hope you don't get problem when you're doing this if you get problem then post in the comment section and we shall discuss about it so i'll say john doe john doe and this is the name of someone then i'm going to open this in the browser and see how it looks like so to open the browser just right click and say open in browser then it will load my this information in my default browser as you can see John Doe then I'll press the Windows button the start button Windows button then I press the left hand side and release it and then you'll see I'll be able to select my code to be on this side so here is my code and here is my file that I'm executing so if I make here some change, I can simply click here to refresh. To do that, you just press the window key and press the arrow keys. And you'll be able to separate your screen equally, just like mine. Okay? So, this is John Doe. But we need to explain what is the meaning of John Doe. So you need to pass an attribute of title. You put here the word title. And then sorry just the word title attribute of title and then say this is a name so this is what we call an attribute you put the name of an attribute and put equal sign and put double quotes and close them and put what you need to explain what you need to use this to explain this so i'll come and refresh i've saved by pressing ctrl s then come and refresh but we don't see any change but if we move our cursor near here you can see name the word name as a tooltip I hope you can see that so this is what we call an attribute something that gives more information about an element I can still say my name is my name I mean I can say 
that is my name that is my name okay that is my name so I save I come and refresh then I'll, when I'll move my cursor on top of this it will explain that is my name so that is what is meant by HTML attribute lastly before the list I'll try to link this page maybe with another page to link a page you have to need uh, okay you need an a tag or anchor anchor, anchor tag you, uh, you just type a and press the tab key and press enter when you do like this it will bring for you the attributes so you can see now different attributes this is called the href attributes and this is called the title attributes the href attribute is where you put the link that you need to open when you click on on this on this link now for example I'll come to my document where I'm saving my files as you can see we have many files I'll open this file by just trying and drop it here the file that you began with okay so I can also open it in the browser by right clicking on it and it's open the browser you can see here this is my first web page so we're going to link these two files using the ACA tag so to link these two files what you need is just the name of this second file since they're in the same folder so I'll just come and copy the name then I'll come maybe and put here the name of that file in the href href attribute then I'll and put here what should be displayed on the screen and say my like I'll just say first page first page okay I'll make it I'll maximize it that you can see properly first page and then if I want to explain it more I'll come here in my in the title and then maybe say my first web page this is the one that will link with the other now I have two files I have now to link this one also with this then I'll just copy this or I may leave it just without copy I click on this one I say maybe go back to do that I'll put A and press the tab key and press enter so to go back again I have to put the file name of the previous file that I want to go back to all what I need is just to copy this name like this exactly the way it is and paste it here in the href then I'll put here the title maybe my previous page just to explain what it means then I'll put here maybe go back so it is go back that will be displayed on the screen go back okay I'll save I'll switch back to my website on my my web browser and refresh so you can see we have now a link here if I move my cursor near this link it will change into a hand pointing and you can see the explanation there as my first web page if I remove the hand the link I mean the, 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 the pointer it will change to the normal pointer so I'll click on it and it take me to this page so you can see go back I click on go back it'll take me back to the first page so that's how we link so we are able to link different pages by the use of attributes so in other words attributes are the one that explains what an element should do but otherwise if you don't have attributes then you couldn't have ways of linking different web pages so let us complete this uh, lecture with one more example for example I'll open my folder where I'm saving my files you can see I have different photos so I'll cop this one maybe of a computer you can see the word is computer you can first right click on it then copy the whole word the way it is then I'll come back to my page then I'll write IMG don't mind about these tags you shall learn them slowly by slowly and you understand them we shall explain the meaning of a tag the IMG in future but right now just write the way it is so I'll press the tab key and this will bring me an op a tag and the SRC 
so src is where i'm going to put the name of the image that i want to include in my website so i'll paste this name here because they're just in the same folder so here there's word alt this alt you will put it there just to explain in case this image is not loaded so maybe if it's not loaded so we can say computer okay so in case this image was not found in its space or maybe it is too large and the network is bad this computer will replace the word I mean where this image would have gone this word computer so I'll come back and refresh I'll go back home and you can see the computer has come so that's what's meant by the IMG tag so as you can see we are having here also another image called guy.png so I'll copy it it's just an image others have jpg but my images they have png so I'll just say mg just put here the name okay I'll just say this, this is the guy the guy this is the guy I'll save come back to my pages okay I will refresh you can see the guy has come so if I go back here it will go to another page I'll come back here the guy has come so what enables us to do all these things is the power of attributes we explain what the element should do through attributes so let us finish this by doing one more thing there's one more attribute which is called width we can just say width of this image should be just 100 pixels okay or 200 pixels so as per now without pixels without specifying the pixels the image will be full but here we put another attribute called width and we specify the pixels of this image so if you come and refresh you'll see it will just take only 2000 200 pixels so that's the attribute of width so if you maybe change it 250 and come and refresh to just change 250 so there is the last one which is called height maybe you say 1000 okay so if you put height to 1000 this image will have the height of 1000 you can see and the width of 250 so if maybe make it uh, maybe the width of uh, the height of 300 so you come and refresh you can see it has taken the weight as how we explain we, we explained it the height so you now know the meaning of attribute attribute we put them in the first tag of an element to explain how an element of HTML should look like so let us go back to our presentations so we shall do the summary of this lecture before we close it all HTML elements have attributes the title attribute provides additional tooltip information as how you saw the title just explains something so the href attribute provides the address information for the link that you want to visit you saw this the width attribute and the height attribute provide the size information for an image then the alt attribute provide the text for the screen readers then in this course we shall always use the lowercase attributes names you can still use the uppercase to specify this attribute but in this course we shall always use the lower case to specify the attributes names so this co and in this course we shall always use the double quotation instead of using the single quotation you can still use single quotation but using single quotation is a bad practice of specifying attributes so for us we shall always use double quotation and which that's what is recommended so here are some notes alt specify the alternative text then the disabled then we can also go uh, go and we have all also known the meaning of href the id the source the style and the title we have all passed through this
so let's meet there but don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video if it was helpful to you so see you in the next lecture